transport. Experiencing no bus ride. So imagine that you are coming from Mabula and your work is in Salmia without the bus ride. This is same like in Philippines from Las Piñas, your house and your workplace is in Loton or Escolta. That far. So here we have no bus ride. So this one we have to use our feet to go to our destination or if you have the money you can pay the taxi driver enough money from the meter the meter ride here in taxi is checked by the police also from time to time so this is in salva the one in you see the video they have a lesser of the less vehicles When you go in Salwa, you can uh, exit on the Fort Ring Road and uh, you can see uh, and you can go to the destination of different roads. Okay, so this is the area where you can see the Fahil Road and also this is the Albeda a very nice uh, beautiful nature in one of uh, the area here after the hotel let's check more of our video here we're going to cross the street okay and we'll check how the streets are showing in our video we are running because the area is a little bit uh, complicated because lots of cars here are uh, running uh, around uh, 40 to 50 kilometers per hour it depends on the speedometer uh, signage which was which is uh, uh, given as a guide by the ministry so it depends on that now just check out the signages and you will know the speedometer requirement so this is the roundabout as you can see overhead is the bridge going to be that and the other side other side of the bridge is going to Al Bladjat. and this is now overlooking on that area is the Rumaitia on the left and on the right is the Qatar Street now we are uh, in between the Qatar Street and the Bladjat uh, area we are in the middle where the residents are um, Usually expats mix uh, nationalities and different kinds of uh, uh, buildings in this area. So overlooking is the down, going down of the bridge is the Blajat. And we're now crossing, going to the Qatar Street. So this is the area, and um, this is in Salmia, where you can find lots of cars around, and uh, we are just crossing through this building. Excuse me, we want to cross the street. Uh, we want to cross this uh, building just because we don't want to go around the three buildings. So we just go straight here uh, because there is a door going outside to the other uh, end of the building thank you mr building and we can go to the next one so we can go home um, it's good to walk right now because the temperature is still good and cool breeze of 
coming from the transition of the winter but uh, in the middle of the summer here in Kuwait this is one of the hottest or if not this is the hottest country in the whole Middle East so we are hoping that the COVID-19 will be uh, sold during this summer time because the highest temperature that can be uh, recorded in Kuwait is really the highest in the Middle East so as you can see these are the residents uh, of the OFWs or different nationalities which are coming from the other countries and uh, you can see that the area have some towing cars, some delivery trucks parked and some uh, boats, even the boat are parked here and also overlooking is the fire brigade and they are ready to uh, do the job if in case someone calls them a very nice portrait showing for relaxation for all of you when you are living in this building and kudos to this building they are giving an effort to decor this uh, interior of their building We are not going uh, to the elevators, we're just passing through the building because it's very big and we don't want to go around, so we just pass by this building. Uh, by the way, don't go inside the building's elevators because this is not permitted if you are not residing on that building, unless you are given the invitation, but still you need permission from the building administration or the Harris. So during this uh, sixth day of lockdown, this is the uh, video showing how uh, normal the life is for Kuwait. Only the roads are empty, uh, the markets are open for food, for grocery, but everybody was discouraged to go out and to stay in parks. They are discouraged and uh, also to the crowded area. Usually, uh, the shops are closed except for restaurants and coffee shops uh, for delivery. So, I hope you like the video and please like and share and subscribe and please see more of the videos on the next days of the lockdown in Kuwait. Thank you, stay healthy and stay safe, everybody.